today we will be discussing on arrays okay okay and the arrays uh, like uh, integers integers uh, store single value whereas arrays we can store multiple values then with a fixed size okay how many elements you want to add in the array whereas uh, primitive data types are integer character flow to double whereas uh, arrays pointer structure arrays are derived data types okay derived data section array Uh, some kind of data source uh, elements sequential sequential means indexes uh, indexes let's see some examples okay which can store fixed size sequential collection of elements in the same data type yeah here everything is in the same data type there will be multiple values that can be stored in this is a declaration syntax type array name of size okay this is a small example into amount of five okay in the in this amount we can store five values last value and it's with the slash zero in the array okay rs can be initialized like this you see uh, into age of five equals to five people uh, we can store store into this uh, age variable you see hmm. you see this is the array now uh, they can store these are indexes zero index for one index two index three index four index whereas uh, a of zero equals to 22 a of one index equal to 25 age of uh, two equals to 30 age of three equals to 32 age of 4 equals to 35 age of 5 equals to slash 0 slash 0 means null last value is slash 0 only okay this is a uh, yeah this is this can be graphically represented like this okay age of 0 equals to 22 age of 1 equals to 25 age of 2 equal to 30 is of three okay let's uh, run the same thing okay how to print this array elements I am opening the compiler. Okay, create a new source file and then save. You can write something and then save. Array dot C. I am saving in the C program okay I am saving like this save okay I N C A D. just to, we can comment it out why wow, what purpose what purpose we are writing this program RS program
okay this is the index let it be okay let's do, let's see how to print our elements here for i equals to 0 i less less than how many are elements here 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 or else you can write like this Printf. For this percent only, I, I will uh, index will go to here, and then value will go to here. I comma age of I this is far end this is main end okay this is a simple program then get character Let's uh, run this or return zero. Okay, for this int, we are returning just zero. Save. Execute. Yeah, I am just printing the elements. Okay, instead of which one a of zero equals to 23, a of one, a of two, like this. This will be the, in the for every array element slash zero is the end last element. Let's run this one. Oh, it's already printed. Let's do slash n for each and everything so that it will print a new line. Execute, compile, and run. C of 0 equals to 23, A of 1 equals to 435, A of, oh, e, not E, age, here. What is printing extra lines? Yeah. See, age of g equals to 23, age of 1 equals to 435, age of 2 equal to 65, age of 3 equals to 34, age of 4 equals to 56, age of 5 equals to 56, age of 6 equals to, these are called index, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, these are called array values, these are called values. We don't know why this is coming. It should not come as well. Um, actually, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's so uh, let's give eight only. What it will come? So let's see. Still, it is coming. Okay. Instead of slash zero, you can put uh, okay. Right now we have declared some values, or else you can keep uh, five five as well here. Uh, eight. You can write like this also. 
i less than 8 i plus plus execute compile and run yeah until 7 0 to 7 it printed okay mm. now we will see something like right now i have entered array declared and then written declared already now we can uh, add array elements using input as a console okay let's see Suppose n, n means how many elements you want to enter. Okay, okay, in this uh, n, how many elements you want to enter? Suppose 5 or 6, it will read. Instead of 8, we will keep n here. Printf enter array element, something like this. Scan of percent ld comma address of age of i this is this we need to write here uh, for i equals to 0 means 0th index will read 0 1 2 3 4 like this now we'll print the those elements here right now comma using a command input okay let's uh, save this execute compile and run how many elements you want to enter this line executing suppose 5 enter array element now it enter into the loop now this enter array element it is asking suppose 33 again second array element it is asking at the end means 5 means it will ask 5 times 44 you can write any hmm. you see whatever the other elements I entered this is this output we have in this output we show this uh, for statement or executed a of uh, age of 0 age of 1 age of 2 age of 3 3 4 5 6 7 whatever the elements I entered I, I got this here yeah now let's see some more examples in the array now in this uh, suppose uh, this this part is uh, clear I, I think you can go to
here i want to print the biggest number in the array mm, okay in the for this program biggest element in the array big big equals to 0 you can assign and uh, then if If age greater than big, that means greater than big. Then big equals to age of i. Yeah, I want to see the age who, who has the, the element. Here, big L, biggest element is 435. Okay. At the end, we can uh, add printf percentile d big equals to percentile d comma big i think uh, this big big value is zero now now a of zero first of all time means a of zero uh, a of zero means 23 23 greater than zero it's true that means the value big equals to 23 a of uh, age of uh, zero equals 23 the, uh, 23 is greater than 0, correct? Na? Now let's go to 435. One iteration done, again second iteration. Then for uh, 23 is greater than uh, that uh, age of 2. Big value is 23 now. 435. Age of 1 equal 435 greater than 23. Yeah, big equals 23. Now big equals to 435. Like that it will check all the things. Let's save, execute run. It's already some, yeah, I can close this. Execute, compile and run. You see, biggest array element, 435. Biggest among this is 435 only, yeah. If you want to do smallest, we can make it uh, small. If, uh, Uh, for small will be uh, it zero means small value zero means it will shows zero only okay small equals to you uh, can use something like age of zero directly we can assign let's see small element eight here Instead of big now, you can less than, make less than small. Then small equals to, smallest number equals to, smallest number equal to, percentage is small. Execute, compile and run. See, small, small number inside the array elements, 8 only. Let's see some more examples in the arrays. Then sum of array elements. I want to add all these array elements. Yeah, you can add. Then sum. 
sum equals to 0. Sum equals to sum plus edge of i. Print f4. Sum equals to sum of all sum of all elements equals to percent ld sum. Yeah, you can do sum of all array, array elements. 755. Okay, next one. I want to sort the array elements. Sort means uh, lower all 8, 23, and then 56, 56, uh, first 34, all uh, the ascending order. I want to sort the array, array elements. Sorting. Sort array, arrays. Okay. Now, whatever program we can print the array elements. This uh, let's do before sorting, after sorting. What will be the happening? Printf array elements before sorting. Here, this one is after sorting. This is the sorting technique I am writing. This is something like bubble sort. Uh, the name of the sorting algorithm is bubble sort. There are different sorting algorithms like bubble sort, insertion sort, quick sort, merge sort, heap sort. There are so many sorting algorithms. Right now, we I am writing the bubble sort. I am taking another uh, okay for j equals to zero j less than eight j plus plus. Um, we have to declare j here, i comma j. Sum is not required now. I can uh, take temporary variable. If symbol age of i greater than age of j, temp equals to temporary variable. I have taken a temp equals to age of i this is swapping age of i equals to age of j 
एज ऑफ जे इक्वल्स टू टेम्पो दिस इज द दिस इज सिंपल बबुल शार्ट अलग एकदम बबुल शार्ट वाट विल हैपन आई इज इक्वल टू जीरो जे इक्वल टू जीरो इट विल बी समथिंग लाइक दिस इट विल टेक टू टू इंडेक्सेस values will be same but we are taking as two indexes now now this one this one will check with uh, if any value is less than this it will uh, interchange that's it now uh, now in this uh, uh, in this one this is the first for first for loop and then this is the second for loop inner loop if the 23 if any value is less than 23 let's uh any value you know this is uh, this value is 23 less than 23 no this one is less than 23 no 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 oh, yeah 8 is there correct 8 is uh, there 8 is less than 23 now what we we are doing this value is swapping technique swapping 8 will go to here 23 will go to here like this If any value is less than eight here, then it will interchange. That is swapping every time. If the age value is uh, greater than that, we are uh, inter interchanging. Whether it will uh, do ascending order or descending order. Let's run this one. The same technique it will take. Okay, swapping. This is called swapping technique. Swapping. Okay, where less numbers will go to front like that. This is this mean, the all this meaning. Let's do execute, save, execute, compile and run. Well, there is a save colon missing here. Let's see how many save colons left. Here also save colon missing. Save, compile and run. Yeah, bracket missing here. You see, open bracket missing. Unnecessary bracket I have kept. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now it is descending order. You see, biggest number on the front. first time first second okay now if you put less than now you know, big biggest to smallest number it is coming now if you put less than here it will give ascending order now less than i have kept execute compile and run now you see smallest to biggest it is ascending order now this is called sorting now we have done the sorting all sorting array elements i think uh, for arrays uh, this is enough i think okay the next session we'll go to strings